Imprudent words, disregard, underestimating him these are only a portion of the ways we hurt the one we love. Nobody needs to be the one to cause torment in a relationship, yet in some cases, we can't stay away from it. We're only human, after all. Assuming you've wound up in this present circumstance, you can relax. In this article, I'll show you 13 ways to inspire him to excuse you and allow you another opportunity. We should make a plunge. 1. Concede your slip-ups. Conceding you were off base may be difficult for you to do. However, there's no avoiding it. At the point when you've harmed somebody, recuperating and compromise can occur assuming you're willing to recognize your errors. Plunk down with him where you can talk unobtrusively and secretly. Then, at that point, let him know you see how you veered off track. The more itemized you can get, the more he'll see that you lament your activities. Why would that be the initial step to winning his heart back? Since taking ownership of your errors shows you're willing to save your pride for the relationship, it tells him, you are my need and I won't allow my pride to destroy what we have. 2. Offer a real conciliatory sentiment. Alongside showing liability regarding what you did comes the need to apologize. For the overwhelming majority of us, saying sorry is troublesome. I most definitely, certainly find it hard to do. In any case, throughout the long term and through numerous connections, I viewed that as it's totally important to fix your relationship. A true statement of regret restores your man's nobility, assists him with feeling far improved, and tells him it wasn't his issue. In addition, modifying trust is vital. Nonetheless, take care that your conciliatory sentiment doesn't convey pardons with it. Giving reasons or moving the fault to another person weakens the strength of your conciliatory sentiment. 3. Pay attention to his side. I wish the two stages above would be sufficient to quickly patch your relationship. Sadly, it is quite difficult. Once in a while, in any event, when you've apologized many times, your man isn't prepared to excuse. He might in any case have such a lot of harm restrained inside him, and that is something he wants to deliver to. Find an opportunity to tune in. Furthermore, recollect not to intrude. It's ideal to permit in the space to vent her communicate how he feels, regardless of whether he just needs to repeat the occurrence again and again. I realize this sounds like anguish to you however examining what happened ordinarily is his approach to handling his feelings. Show restraint until he arrives where he believes he has said all he needs to say, and keep in mind that you're busy. 4. Recognize his sentiments. As your accomplice articulates his thoughts, you'll probably hear him release a wide range of pessimistic feelings. Torment, pity, disillusionment, disappointment, outrage. Expect that he will feel these things. It tends to be tough to hear. However, you must approve of his sentiments. Clarify that you comprehend the reason why he feels these. Practice compassion let him in on you'd feel the same way if you were to imagine being in his situation. 5. Give him space. Consider the possibility that, despite a long, heart-to-heart -heart talk, he isn't prepared to bounce back into the relationship. His psyche could say he's prepared to pardon you, However, his heart doesn't exactly concur. The following best thing to do is to give him some alone time. For the most part, men truly do require additional reality to handle their feelings. While they experience feelings as strongly as ladies do, they frequently don't show them since they've been prepared to do as such. Consequently, they take more time to serious areas of strength for managing sentiments. Thus, if he requests some space, don't accept it as a terrible sign. It could essentially imply that he needs to clear his head and truly consider things. However, as you give him a space to mend, remember to 6. Keep the correspondence lines open. Time separation is great in this present circumstance, yet you additionally need to convey and monitor him every once in a while. Take care to avoid it too frequently. 
You would rather not seem to be frantic or rude of his limits. Just let him in on your free anytime he needs to converse with you about anything. Assuming any inquiries spring up in his mind while he handling occurred, he can contact ask you, and you can assist him with settling the issue. 7. Get custom-fitted guidance from a relationship mentor. While these tips to win his heart back after hurting him are useful, a couple could require more direction to filter through their particular issues. On these occasions, the counsel of a relationship mentor can prove to be useful. I as of late did that. A couple of years prior. I hurt my beau profoundly. I attempted such countless things to inspire him to pardon me, yet he actually couldn't move beyond it. I was basically out of thought attempting to win his heart back. Yet at the same time, I would have rather not surrendered. Thus, as a final desperate attempt, I contacted a mentor at Relationship Legend, a well-known relationship training site that gives genuine arrangements. Because of my confirmed relationship mentor, I had the option to get tailor-made top-to-bottom and functional guidance well-defined for my circumstance. 8. Take care of your problems and attempt to work on yourself. Quite possibly the most significant thing I gained from my relationship mentor is the significance of mindfulness. Mindfulness implies checking out at yourself unbiasedly through reflection. Without mindfulness, it would be difficult to see how you veered off track and how you can work on yourself. This is significant for developing better connections, particularly on the off chance that your point is to win back your man's trust after hurting him. Since stop and think for a minute it won't make any difference the amount you apologize on the off chance that you'll continue to mess up the same way. I'll give you a model. Quite possibly of the most normal issue in my past connections was the propensity to speak harshly to my accomplice. At whatever point I was worried, afterward, I would apologize and persuade him to pardon me. Then, after only half a month, whenever I was drained, I'd rage at him once more. The issue was with what? For what reason did I continue to make it happen? I coming up short on mindfulness to monitor my way of behaving. I didn't perceive my trigger, which was business-related pressure. When I sorted it out, I figured out how to make a blueprint for each time I'd get overpowered. I gave myself a script of comments as opposed to getting nasty or horrendous each time I was worried. It didn't simply do ponders for my relationship, it likewise urged me to always invest energy in self-reflection, and it has turned into a propensity that has assisted me with growing in numerous alternate ways. 9. Show him what you've thought about. Now that you've plunked down with yourself and sorted out your issues, now is the right time to take care of business. It's not difficult to say, I'll change I'll be less poor I won't message my ex any longer. Tragically, guarantees amount to nothing except if you back them up with activities. Recall that since you've harmed him, you've broken his confidence in you. The best way to win it back is by being steady in your activities. For instance, if he feels hurt since you don't invest sufficient energy with him, Make it a highlight to show him that you comprehend and expect to determine it. Focus on investing more energy. Even better, make basic customs that you can do together, such as going for an everyday stroll, eating together, or participating in an end-of-the-week action you both appreciate. Predictable substantial activities will show him you don't generally joke around about it, and ideally, he will start confiding in you in the future. 10. Don't mess around. Okay, games. Messing around could have been fun while you were dating, yet not on the off chance that you're in a committed relationship. What's more, right now, while you're attempting to set things straight, messing around can extend your fracture. Thus, if you need to quickly track the cycle by making him desirous or terrified of losing you, let me let you know at present probably not. Your man, and your relationship, merits your regard. On the off chance that he requires some investment to mend, 
You'll simply need to endure it assuming you truly need him back. On that note, 11. Try not to be excessively poor. I realize it tends to be difficult to check your motivations when you need something so severely. It tends to be unbelievably tough to show restraint, particularly when you're loaded up with dread and tension that he won't ever excuse you, yet, urgency is never a decent search for anybody. Also, destitution lets him know that you're placing your necessities over his. The key here is to practice discretion. Also, how would you do that? By regarding his limits and respecting his desires. While pausing, shift your concentration and take part in different exercises you find satisfying. Look for solace from your own emotionally supportive network of loved ones who love you. Utilize an opportunity to take care of your problems. Furthermore, in conclusion, recollect your objective. To win his heart back, that is the higher perspective. Watching out for that can assist you with ending those unhinged desires to continue to call him constantly and beseeching him to pardon you. 12. Remind him about your cheerful minutes. Winning his heart back after you've harmed him will require more exertion than the speedy conciliatory sentiment you make. After you've had a regular contention, this time, the aggravation goes further than simple inconveniences. It very well may be sufficiently profound to cause him to fail to focus on every one of the blissful minutes you shared. In any case, as long as the adoration is still there, you get an opportunity. One method for poking him back nearer to you is to help him to remember your more promising times. The purpose here isn't to control yet to assist him with seeing the great side of your relationship. Raise explicit recollections or occasions that you both delighted in. It's not just about the past too. You're likewise providing him with a brief look at a future with you. Raising cheerful recollections can make him see that both of you can be so great together. Whenever you've moved beyond this obstacle, then, at that point, when he's more open, you could design new encounters or exercises that you can do to gain new experiences. It's a touch of smart brain research I gained from dating master Brad Carmelizing. Brad is a top-rated creator and has assisted many individuals with getting back to their ex. Using his very well-known YouTube channel, he simply delivered another free video that will give you every one of the tips you want to get back with your ex. 13. Focus on his way to express affection. At any point know about the five ways to express affection. If you haven't, they are the five ways we express our affection, as per creator Gary Chapman. These are encouraging statements, actual touch, quality time, demonstrations of administration, and gifts. Knowing your man's way to express affection is always useful. However, it turns out to be considerably more significant right now as you attempt to address his heart. If you haven't sorted it out yet, here are ways to determine what causes your accomplice to feel more cherished. Does he frequently say, I love you, or express his affection verbally? Might it be said that he is tender? Does he hold your hand constantly? Does he focus on investing energy with you? Could you at any point depend on him to get things done or tackle errands for you? Does he frequently give you significant gifts? These inquiries ought to let you know what language he talks in. Then, you can make it a highlight to express your adoration and earnestness by communicating in his main avenue for affection. For example, assuming he's a demonstration of administration fellow, why not reverse the situation around and be the one to do stuff for him? Assuming he feels more cherished with tender motions, go on embrace him and hold his hand consistently as you can. You understand everything. The thought is to fit your activities to how he gives and gets love best. Last contemplations. Winning your man's heart back after you've harmed him is not a one-step process. It's muddled, tedious, and calls for tons of loneliness, love, and tolerance. 
However, on the off chance that you know in your heart that he's worth the effort hold tight and set forth the energy to make it work. Ideally, he'll see your earnestness and want to change, and your relationship will be considerably more grounded after this setback.